lessons i'm markeisha for those of you who are new and those of you who are not welcome back we're gonna jump back into another week of me blogging what i eat while on a cleanse peace and blessings so it's 8 30 in the morning and i'm about to do my lemon water all day today i'm just gonna eat leftover food i have so much of it i'm gonna show you guys And I forgot to show you guys, I have about four orange and three grapefruits, a mango, and four pears that I absolutely need to eat up as well. So I have a whole bunch of just leftover things that I need to graze through either today and tomorrow or today, just depending on how it goes, because I'm not going nothing out. Um, Walnut taco meat with quinoa, and I have a juice. I have some greens back there that I need to eat up, grapes, and cherry tomatoes. So I'm eating up those all day long. <laughs> yeah, I look a, a hot ass mess, but I just, oh, let me look here, because I'm on my phone. I look a hot ass mess, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to vlog all day today. I'm gonna try. For breakfast, I pretty much had some fresh blueberries in my lemon water. I also had some of those pears that I showed you guys. And half of those blueberries, I did put them into the freezer to use to make smoothies so that I wouldn't throw them out. And right here, I'm making myself and my mom a ginger tea with fresh lemon juice and wild local honey. My mom wasn't feeling well, so I asked her if she'd like to have some tea with me. And when I make my tea, I always use spring water. I consume spring water. If you use tap, that's your business. But uh, the Geyser Springs water is a affordable neutral water. And that's some local Tupelo honey. And I had some avocados that I needed to use up and I'm making a quick guacamole. And if you've never made guacamole, it's pretty simple. It's Haas avocados, red onions, fresh cilantro. I use lemons and limes in my Himalayan pink salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And you can add anything else in it that you like. This is just the way that I do it. And if you're new here, I really don't use measurements. I, I buy everything to my ancestors say it's good and I be out. And I have a, I had quite a bit of cucumbers that I needed to use up. So I'm going to be slicing the cucumbers as chips and I'm gonna dip on this and eat it. Plus whatever leftovers that I found through the fridge. I didn't really keep my camera out all day. Like this was a pretty lazy day for me. I, I took it easy Sunday until later in the afternoon when I got ready to go for a power walk. And right here, I'm just showing you guys me making the chips out of the cucumbers. And then I wild out for lunch. I pretty much was throwing everything together into a bowl that I had left. Um, I fried some tortillas. I had uh, arugula salad. I had some leftover walnut taco meat and some of the guacamole that I made. And I also had fried some green bananas. I had a heavy lunch. I really didn't have any dinner this day because I think I was drinking on that ginger and honey tea all day with my mom and eating whatever out the fridge besides this and I went power walking and that was pretty much how my day went. And I started my day off with some room temperature lemon water in my sea moss. I forgot to record me eating the sea moss yesterday and that's chlorophyll, but I promise you guys I have it every day either alone or in my smoothies or my juices. 
Uh, the chlorophyll, it gives oxygen to the blood. That's what the green looking water is. I have it inside of the water. And I made juices this morning to last me for three days. I don't drink them if they're older than three days. So I had one of these for breakfast and a half of one for lunch. And for dinner, I made vegan crabless cakes. And I'm showing you guys onions, peppers, herbs, garlic that I'm gonna be sauteing down. And I'm using heart of palm and chickpeas to make the mock crab meat and inside of there that's nori flakes because i didn't have any dose that's what i'm going to be using to give it that ocean flavor and to bind it since i'm detoxing i'm going to be using a flaxseed egg and that's basically one tablespoon of ground flax seeds to two and a half tablespoons of water and you just mix it together and sit it to the side and you basically have one egg so that's a vegan egg and I season my uh, mixture really well I diced the heart of palm down and I blended the chickpeas inside of my blender to blend them down well and what you're seeing is the nori flakes that's what's going to give it the oceany flavor because I didn't have any dulce and these are the sauteed onions pepper garlic and herb that I'm adding in I had uh, nutritional yeast Old Bay seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, mustard, smoked paprika, and you can also add breadcrumbs in if you like. I pretty much was using the flaxseed eggs to bind everything together. And once you fold it, you'll see what it looks like, and you'll kind of see me mushing some of it because I'm trying to give it that consistency of the crab. So if it if the texture was not what I wanted it to be, then I, you know, mush it down a little bit. You don't want to mush it too much because the heart of palm is soft. I do have a video on my channel showing how to make vegan crabless cakes. I'll be sure to link that below. And I'm sorry, guys, I do not use recipes. I told you guys, I just, I be eyeballing stuff, you know, but you can plug in vegan crab cakes with heart of palm and chickpeas here on YouTube if you need like specific instructions or just you know comment down below and i'll get around to making a video to show you guys if you like and i'm going to fry these in some grapeseed oil and this is pretty much what they look like when they're done and i also made a vegan roumelade to dip these in and i had these over a salad Monday night and it's the end of the night I'm gonna make this really really quick I just took the last of the liver herbs and I'm vlogging on my phone because where's my camera oh as usual my camera's right here on the charger um but I took the last of the liver herbs and I start the colon cleanse herbs tomorrow and I'm super excited because that means everything's winding down my cleanse is going really, really good. If you're new to my channel, I started this cleanse on February the 13th. I did one week of easing, and this is a full body cleanse. So you do a no tox, which strengthens your intestinal wall. Then you go into your kidney herbs, then your liver herbs, and then last your colon cleanse herbs. So I'm just now getting ready to start the colon cleanse, and everything's been going good. I can't complain. And Sunday I had leftovers and then tonight I had the crabless cakes and I'm just drinking some water and as you guys know I told you I'm always drinking juice I have a juice right here this is um lemons grapefruit and orange I didn't use the juicer I did this by hand with a hand juicer And that's going to be pretty much it. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side.
started my day off with my two heaping tablespoons of my sea moss gel. And then for breakfast, I had one of the juices that I made. For lunch, I had one of the vegan crabless cakes over a salad. And I had more than one of these. And for dinner, I had another juice. I pretty much juiced up all day. Now that I'm on part one of the colon cleanse for this full body detox, you take those herbs at night. So I'm just showing me taking my herbs and getting ready to go to bed. I didn't, you know, record too much this day. Tell you guys, it's getting close to the end and I'm wanting it to be over. I just, I want some pancakes. And I started my morning with some freshly made ginger tea and I had cut up some grapefruits and that's pretty much what I had for breakfast. I also did have my sea moss gel off camera. I'm in a little bit of funk, a little bit of a funk these days, you guys, cause I, I'm ready for some pancakes and biscuits. It's just, just the truth. So I've been keeping it simple, like in and out. And this is hummus and blue corn tortilla chips that I munched on throughout the day. I also had some kiwi and some fresh pineapple slices and water, lemon water all day, of course. And then for dinner, I bought those vegan crabless cakes back over a salad because I had made a lot of them. Woo, a new day, a new attitude. So I'm showing you guys, I'm having my CMOS gel to start my morning off. And I'm also going to be taking my D3 supplement this morning. You guys, I'm vegan, so all of my supplements are vegan. And vitamin D is what we get from the sun. And you guys know it's winter, it's cold, so we don't get that much sunlight right now. And this is good for the immune system. So I'm just supplementing this in. I take it more in the winter than I do in the summer. And then for a late lunch, I did make a juice using my blender. I had some grapes in the refrigerator that I needed to use up. I also had a couple of pears left and some cara cara oranges. And I made this in my blender because it was a quick juice and I used my nut milk bag to strain it. This is the brand of nut milk bags that I use. I'll be sure to link the video below showing how you can use your blender to make juice when you don't feel like pulling out your juicer or if you don't have a juicer. And I was making a heavy dinner, so I went ahead and started that, started that early. These are just some leftover uh, yellow peppers that I needed to use up, shallots, garlic, some dried Italian herbs that I'm sauteing down. I'm getting ready to make chickpea patties and I blend my chickpeas down using my blender or if you have a potato masher you can use that as well or you can use your fork and you want to make sure that these chickpeas are cooked. I'm just showing you guys the consistency that I like mine and once again I'm going to be using a flaxseed egg to bind it together but you most definitely can use chickpea flour or whichever binder that you choose to. At this point in the cleanse, I'm using up what's left in the fridge. So I'm adding in those sauteed peppers and a little avocado oil just to soften up the mixture. 
and I'm going to be making out the patties so that I can get ready to cook them on my flat top griddle. You can also bake these or you can cook them in your air fryer. If you're using cans, generally one can of chickpeas will get you about three small patties. And I'm using part of those onions, shallots, and garlic and herbs that I sauteed down. I'm gonna be using it for another meal. That's why I threw some tomatoes in to saute them. And this is me um, showing you guys how I season it. You would pretty much season it like you normally would season chicken um, if you do eat meat. And I'm preparing my kale greens. That's what I added to it. That's why I added those tomatoes to it. I'm basically gonna let this stew down. I'm gonna season them really nice. I use some smoked paprika, some liquid smoke, some onion powder, garlic powder, and I always like to add unrefined organic coconut oil to my kale greens. I just like the flavor that the coconut oil gives them. And I just saute them down to their the tenderness that I like. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this. And I made chickpea patties, lentils, uh, those are green bananas, kale greens, avocado, and quinoa. And I made a nice bit of this, so that's why I started dinner early because I knew it was going to be a pretty heavy dinner. I made a smoothie using the rest of those blueberries that I had threw into the freezer and I'm going to show you guys how I made it. vlogs I showed you guys me making homemade granola and I just had that for lunch um, with some almond milk and then for dinner I had a chickpea patty asparagus and quinoa and I sauteed some um, sun-dried tomatoes peppers and onions and garlic and topped it with that with a dill sauce y'all know the drill I'm having my CMOS gel in the morning and I'm also going to be drinking my chlorophyll water. I'm also rotating some of my supplements that I should be taking every day but because my mom wasn't feeling well I'm making sure to get everything in. That was B12 and then this is a tincture is elderberry and olive leaf extract. And this was a ginger tea that I had made. The heat from the cup had steamed up the lens. Then for lunch, I had some portobello mushroom wraps. You guys seen this before. I just added some peppers on there that I roasted along with the mushrooms and also some kale and a dill sauce. And that's what I had for lunch. I'm gonna throw a picture in. Dinner, I made a seasoned kale salad. You can use this as the base for anything and add any toppings that you like. You can season it with what you like, but I use liquid aminos or you can use soy sauce or tamari, smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, fresh cracked black pepper. I love fresh cracked black pepper, so I use a lot. Ginger, trust me, this ginger is so good when you do it on your kale salad. That's some nutritional yeast. And these are uh, some dried Italian herb blend that I got from Sam's. I really love this stuff, but if you use it, don't use salt. I, sh I should have made paid attention that it had salt in it, but 
nonetheless, I still like it. I just try to monitor my salt in other ways. And I use unrefined organic coconut oil. I love this on my raw kale salads. And that's some avocado. And I don't use measurements, I just eyeball and taste and some fresh lime juice but you really can use whatever you want but this combination it gives it a really good taste and then the fat from the coconut oil just mm, so good i want one now and what i like to do is just massage it in and i really massage it i'm talking about you guys i massage it probably about five minutes i go in i put all the love into it and you can use this as a base and just add whatever toppings on it that you like and then what I do is I cover it with um, some saran wrap and I let it sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Like I was saying, you can top the kale salad with whatever you like. These were some leftover food prep that I had from earlier in the week, whether I needed to saute them or add in them on salads. I just cut up some more tomatoes and olives and I'm going to be topping my salad with these and it's no right or wrong way. You can really use whatever you like. And y'all, please don't be fooled by this small portion of kale salad. I pretty much ate that whole bowl. It might was a little bit left. I had this salad with some lemon water and I was pretty satisfied. And like I say, I always have fruit. I can make smoothies. I'm never hungry when I'm on my cleanses. I'm always eating but kale is one of my favorite greens so you can pretty much give me kale saute kale raw or kale as a wrap and I'm good and that's pretty much what I had for dinner and then at the end of the night, I ended up making me a ginger and lavender tea to help me relax. And that's pretty much it. Like always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, taking control of your physical, spiritual, and mental health does take balls. And it's a lifestyle. I send you peace, love, and light wherever you may be on your journey. Peace.